In this video tutorial, we walk you through the process of performing a magnetometer calibration on our Airborne Systems IMU and SBG Ellipse GPS IMU. This is a critical step in collecting high quality data. Before you begin, you will need the Resnon Airborne System mounted on your drone with all the necessary cables and batteries installed. It is very important that the installed system and its configuration does not change between the magnetometer calibration and the flights. You will also need a laptop with SBG Center software installed and a long USB extension cable. Another person is necessary to pick up the drone and perform the necessary rotations. Do this in a location that is well away from any buildings, automobiles, or any other source of electronic or magnetic interference. If you are using a gimbal with the Resonon system, the motion of the gimbal must be constrained before performing the magnetometer calibration. There are many ways to do this, but typically tape, zip ties, or even wooden dowels are used to lock the gimbal in place. It is important to remember to only use non-ferrous materials. The first step is to connect the Ellipse IMU directly to a laptop that has SBG Center software installed. A long USB extension should be used to provide good separation between the Ellipse and the laptop. Once connected, launch the SBG Center software. First, press the Connect button, followed by the Refresh button. If the software prompts you to reconfigure the serial converter, press the Yes Please button, followed by the Yes button, on the proceeding dialog. Then press OK. The ellipse should show up in the selection dialog. Highlight it and press Connect. Make sure the system is tracking GNSS satellites and has computed a position by pressing the GPS button. Next, press the Configure button. Press the Aiding button, then select the Magnetometer tab. When you press the Calibrate Magnetometer button, a new window will appear. When the rest of the team is ready to start the calibration process, press the Start Acquisition button. Pick up the drone in its normal flight orientation. Slowly rock the drone in a circular motion while simultaneously rotating in a circle. Make sure you rotate a full circle or more. You will see the acquired points filling in the calibration window. The software will also give feedback on the speed of the motion in the acquisition section on the lower left side. Next, rotate the drone by 90 degrees front to back so that the forward direction of the drone is facing up or down. Repeat the circular rocking again while rotating in a slow circle. Once finished, Turn the drone again by 90 degrees, sideways, and repeat the motion one last time. Press the Stop Acquisition button, then press the Calibrate 3D button. The quality indicator needs to read Optimal or Good, and the Confidence indicator needs to read High or Medium. If this is not the case, the procedure needs to be repeated. Once satisfied, press the OK button to apply the calibration. You can now connect the ellipse to the Resonon flight computer and power on the system. You do not need to repeat the magnetometer calibration process as long as the setup is not altered or the system is not moved more than 50 kilometers. If the setup is frequently changed or multiple locations are repeatedly used, you can use the save and load functionality of the SBG Center software to change between calibrations. If you collect data but have a poorly georectified image, as shown in these examples, the problem may be a poor magnetometer calibration and you may need to repeat the steps detailed earlier in this video. Check Resonon's airborne FAQs for more information that can help solve such problems. Thanks for watching. Check out Resonon's YouTube channel for more videos and subscribe to stay up to date with new content.